welcome to the testing world so in this session I'm going to start loops in JavaScript and first of all we are going to learn a loop with the name for loop previously if you worked on C C++ Java or C sharp so syntax of the for loop is same with these programming language means the syntax that we are having in a C or C++ or in Java same syntax you are going to use in JavaScript so I'm going to show you how we can make loops here I'm moving to the notepad plus plus here first of all I have a new file I'm going to save it and we know all the files which I'm saving with a JS extension so I'm saying loop one dot JS now so first of all I'm doing a comment here for loop with increment value now I'm taking an example I want to print a table so here I want to print a table of any number and here I'm going to start programming so first of all I'm declaring a number like where number is equal to 8 I want to print a table of 8 here I want to run a loop from 1 to 10 so for i is equal to 1 i is less than equal to 10 i plus plus so here we are giving starting point till what condition this loop should run and increment or decrement that's the body of the loop here I'm going to write my code which I want to execute in the loop before moving forward I want to display this the way in which my loop is going to work so first of all we'll give the initial condition and here the condition will be checked so if I show you here in my notepad plus plus first the initial condition so it's going to give initial condition here and then it is checking the condition means I'm giving i is equal to 1 now it's checking if i is less than equal to 10 perform the task perform the task means here I want to display console dot log and I want to display number which is the number uh, we have declared here and into i so that's my task which I want to perform so if I show you here first initial condition condition check initial value condition check if true then execute the conditional code and increment or decrement so same thing we are doing here initial condition i is equal to 1 check i is less than or equal to 10 yes then perform this task after performing increase and check condition again so that is the way my loop is going to execute I saved it and moving to command prompt for the execution and we know that how to execute it so I'm just moving to this location where my file is placed node and the name of the file is loop1.js so that's the way to execute it I'm showing you here enter so as I enter here a oh, minor mistake that I have done it's a numbr so I correct it and now executing again we are getting a table of 8 and that's a generic program you can declare any number here like I'm declaring 71 I want to display the table of 71 so I'm just putting 71 over there and running it again now we are getting table of 71 so point here is we are running a loop from 1 to 10 and that's a for loop syntax is initial value condition check increment or decrement as of now if you notice I'm running a loop from 1 till the value is less than or equal to 10 means from 1 to 10 if you want you can do same task here like this so from 1 till 10 because we have used less than 11 and if I try to execute so first I'm clearing the screen and now I'm executing again we are getting same answer after changing checking condition so it's depend what kind of operators we want to use one more thing I want to update here if I take this value 11 
now I'm saying start a loop from 11 okay first it will set the value 11 now it will check means i is less than equal 11 answer is no so this loop will not run even a single time if I try to execute this so first I'm clearing the screen running it so we'll not get any answer because I'm saying start the loop from 11 and till i is less than 11 means here the condition will not satisfy even a single time now I'm running like this okay start a loop from 11 run this loop till the value is greater than 11 even on the first case value is 11 it is greater than 11 no so again it will not execute so we can test these symbols because most important part while working is the operators which we are using so in many cases I have seen we are not using correct operator and because of that my loop is not giving the expected results it will be great if you get understanding about these operators and once we get the control on these operators you can easily write loops here I want to give one more condition I want to start a loop from 12 okay i is equal to 12 12 is greater than 11 yes it will execute now it will increase the value which then i will become 13 13 is greater than 11 yes so if you notice every time value will be increased and it will be greater than 11 so this loop is going to execute for infinite time so we must understand like here if we execute this infinitely it's going to execute so here we have seen how, how we can display a table by using for loop and here we are using in increment operator now I'll show you how we can perform a for loop by using decrement operator means I want to print a table of any number but in reverse order for that I'm just taking a number like numbr is equal to whatever number you want to take I want to take 24 now I want to display a table in the reverse order means first I'll go with the 10, 24 into 10 then 24 into 9 then 24 into uh, 8 24 into 7 so in this way we want to display it so I'm running a loop for i is equal to 10 I want to start this loop from 10 run this loop till the value of i is greater than or equal to 1 means from 10 to 1 and value of i is decreasing so this time I'm using i minus minus and that's the body of the loop here I'm printing console dot log number into i everything is done I'm just clearing the screen and running it again so we are getting a loop in the reverse order 240, 216, 192, 168, 144 and the rest of the values so here we have seen how we can run a for loop in the increment and the decrement order now I want to display result result like 24 into 10 is equal to 240 in this order so what I'm doing here first of all I want to display number so that's a number it's like 24 then I want to display symbol of into so into then I want to display value of i so I'm saying i and plus is the operator for concatenation then I want to display equal to so I have just mentioned equal to and then I want to mention results so n u m b r into i everything is done clearing screen and running it again and we are getting the correct output so what we are doing first of all number means 24 if you notice 24 then I, I want to display star symbol so I'm just printing star then 10 9 8 7 6 so here 10 9 8 7 6 then equal to operator then equal to operator we are using equal to operator here and at the end result so if you notice number into i which is result so here we have seen how we can go for the for loop in increment and decrement values so here we have seen how we can go for the for loop 
in the next session I'll show you how we can go for the while loop. That's all we have. Thanks for watching this video.